Lady Louise Winter's absence from Easter service continues. Monarch returns amidst cancer battle. Hello. Welcome to Royal Diaries. Before we continue please subscribe to the channel for more British royal family news. Lady Louise Windsor, the beloved member of the royal family, has faced yet another disappointment as she missed out on the annual Easter Sunday service for the second consecutive year. Last weekend, as the rest of the royal clan gathered at the magnificent St George's Chapel, the absence of the 20-year-old Lady Louise was felt deeply. The daughter of Prince Edward found herself unable to attend the service due to her commitment as a second-year student pursuing a degree in English literature at the prestigious University of St Andrews in Scotland. As per the university's academic calendar, the weeks preceding and following Easter are considered term time, and this year, two crucial revision weeks leading up to exams commence on Saturday April 20. Thus, Lady Louise's dedication to her studies prevented her from partaking in the cherished tradition. This year's absence marks the second time Lady Louise Windsor has been unable to join the royal outing, as she was also missing from last year's Easter celebrations. In 2023, she would have been a freshman, embarking on her first year at university, which explains her previous non-attendance. While Lady Louise's absence was palpable, the presence of King Charles and Queen Camilla brought a sense of regal charm to the Easter Sunday service. It was a significant appearance for the monarch as he gradually returned to his royal duties after publicly revealing his battle with cancer. Despite his health challenges, the 75-year-old monarch, accompanied by other members of the royal family, attended the annual Easter matins service, smiling and waving graciously. As the king arrived at St George's Chapel, a jubilant onlooker shouted, Happy Easter! To which King Charles replied, And to you! The atmosphere was filled with warmth and appreciation for the royal couple's steadfast commitment to their duties. Among the other prominent attendees were Princess Anne and her husband Vice Admiral Sir Timothy Lawrence, who radiated elegance and grace. The Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh, Louise's parents, were also present, showcasing their unwavering support for the royal family and their dedication to maintaining traditions. A delightful surprise awaited observers as the Duke of York and Sarah, Duchess of York, made an unexpected appearance at the Easter Sunday service. Despite the divorce in 1996, the former couple put aside the differences to join the family gathering. Their presence added a touch of nostalgia and reminded everyone of the enduring bond between the members of the royal family. However, the absence of the Princess of Wales and her family was noticeable. Just over a week ago, the Duchess of Cambridge shared the news that she had commenced a course of preventative chemotherapy, which undoubtedly required her devoted attention and privacy. Consequently, Prince William, Kate, and the three children, Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis, who are usually present at the Easter service, chose to spend the holiday privately, cherishing precious moments together within the comfort of their home. As the Easter Sunday service unfolded, Lady Louise Wince's absence lingered, emphasizing the challenges faced by the young royal as she diligently pursues her education. While her absence was felt, the presence of the monarch amidst his cancer battle served as a testament to the resilience and dedication of the royal family in fulfilling their responsibilities, even in the face of personal struggles. Thanks for watching till the end, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more updates.